All right, man, let's talk about Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson gets a Canelo Alvarez. Some, uh, Canelo Alvarez fanboy is going to be mad at Mike. Is he what's wrong with Canelo? Is, you know, is he afraid of losing? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yeah, Canelo. And they, everybody acting like this is something brand new. Like it's a stylistic song. <laughs> This is nothing brand new, man. Canelo be was taking a risk. Canelo was taking a risk, bro, where uh they were calculated risk. And the risk he took, people worse for it, Mayweather. He knew he wasn't gonna get in any physical trouble, you know, and he knew he was gonna make a lot of money. And people was gonna say, Well, that was Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> that was the great Floyd Mayweather. So he already knew what it was. So it wasn't the biggest risk in the world to fight Floyd Mayweather. So, yeah, it wasn't the biggest risk in the world to fight Floyd Mayweather. But, you know, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. You know, but at the end of the day, um, Yeah, he don't want to fight Benavidez. We all knew Benavidez was wrong for uh, anybody that knew boxing knew Benavidez was wrong for Canelo Alvarez. But Mike Tyson was wrong with Canelo. Was he afraid of losing? Um, I'm glad somebody applying pressure. Mike is accused. My uh, this is boxerscene.com, by the way. Mike Tyson is accused of Canelo Alvarez disrespecting boxing against Mexico with an undisputed super middleweight champion allegedly walking away from a lucrative proposal to face his mandatory challenger, David Benavidez. All right. Let's just get to the quote. He said in an interview with uh, Marco, with Marco Tyson, said he was surprised Canelo walked away from a proposed multi million dollar fight with his natural rival, David Benavidez. I can't believe what I just heard Tyson told Marco. Marco? I don't know. I said that shit. Responding to. Or uh, what is that? Or or, or Norris reports that the Mexican has turned down uh some sixty million dollars. You know, he said, "What's wrong with Canelo?" He said, "Is he afraid of losing? Does he want to give the fans the fight they want to see? Don't want to give the fans what they want to see? He's been doing that forever. I know how people are acting like they appalled by this. You know what I'm saying?" I don't know why people are like, oh my, oh my god, I, I can't, I can't believe it. Canelo been bitch made. I guess everybody late to the party. You know what I'm saying? I guess everybody late to the party. With that song, you know, to you know, welcome to my house party. Well, that kind of hit different with Meek and Diddy and stuff though. But hey, everybody late to the party. Everybody late to the party. So, um, this ain't this something that we've been new. But if you ain't have so many people, uh, if you ain't have so many people uh, going around here and and capping. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't have so many people going around here capping, talking, you know, oh, Canelo fight anybody, do it, man, dude. That dude is a very calculated fighter. Everything he got has been given to him. I said it again and 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 again. This is nothing new. Like I said last night when he did the live, this dude found white fighters. He found white fighters in boxing. We didn't even know fucking exist. He got to have the most white bodies on his resume. Real talk. He got to, man. I didn't even know it was that many white fighters. Fielding, Ryder, Callum Smith, Liam Smith, all both brothers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Caleb Plant. Well, he, I mean, he was man, dude. He, he was showing that, you know, white is back in boxing. 
He said, do you not respect the legacy of the great Mexican champions who face the best regardless of money? Tyson said, this is a shame for boxing and for Mexico. And if I were him, I would accept the fight with Benavidez to show the world that he has the best. But it seems he doesn't have the courage to do so. It's a shame because he has a lot of talent but lacks the heart. Good, Mike said that shit. And Mike will hold niggas accountable just as Mexicans. So let's let's keep that apart. He was holding Charlo feet to the fire to fight the Mexican monsters well, too. And I'm glad because Muhammad Ali was here. You know, go, you know, guys like him, you know, um, they were here. They they be saying the same thing. And the only reason Roy Jones' name don't hold weight like that is because Roy kept fighting past his fucking prime. <laughs> Roy kept fighting past his prime. That's the only reason Roy Jones' name don't don't hold as much weight. And every and everybody know this to be true. Everybody know this to be true. Everybody know this to be true. So it's nothing new. But yeah, everybody everybody know this shit to be true. And to me, it's, it's mad unfortunate. It's mad unfortunate, bro. Because, you know, um, he never had to earn nothing in boxing. Everything was laid on a silver platter because he was a distinguished-looking Mexican. He had, you know, he fought on free TV. You know, his look went viral uh, or, you know, went real popular. And, you know, Oscar De La uh, co-signed him. He piggy pig, piggybacked off of Floyd, all that shit, all that. So anybody say, "Oh, Canelo had it hard, man." Fuck out of here, goddamn lie. <laughs> and now people starting to see, you know, you know, all the rumors about the Kovalev fight with the extra weigh-ins and the alleged dive and all this other shit that's going on, man. This stuff we been already know. The Austin trial with the open scoring and all this stuff. All this stuff. You know, people say, well, Canelo made too much money. He too come. My whole thing is this. If he fight Ben and V, don't fight him. That's fine. But why are you holding up the division? That's what we need to know. Why are you holding up the division? See, if you drop the bell, it probably wouldn't even be a big deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my thing. Like, that's basically so like you, you, you saying F them. That's basically like you saying F them. And then holding your nuts on them saying, aha, you can't be a world champion. But then again, we got to We got to We got to keep it funky. In my Cam Newton voice, we got to keep it funky. Benavidez had that belt, and Benavidez lost that belt on the scale. So whatever you, you know, whatever, you know, hey, he got some he got some uh, skin in the game in this one. But Canelo Alvarez, really, nobody talks about this. He really needs to fight this man to, to solidify him being undisputed as super middleweight. Because we all know. Had you know Benavidez held that WBC title, he wouldn't have went for undisputed, and I can prove it. Look at 160 uh 60 pounds, wasn't he like one belt away? And he chose not to fight uh and he chose not to fight Sergey Dervinchenko. He dropped the belt, they fake a fake beef with Golden Boy, so he don't look bad because he he didn't want to fight Dervinchenko. Then you seen why he didn't want to fight Dervinchenko. Everybody seen why he didn't want to fight Dervinchenko because he gave Triple G hell. He gave Triple G hell. So we seen why he didn't want to get in the ring and rumble with, you know, Dervinchenko. So that, that ain't, that ain't no, that wasn't no, that wasn't no surprise. So, um, but, uh, but, you know, I'm glad people starting to see it. 
I'm glad people starting to see it. I'm very glad people starting to see it. So this ain't this ain't this ain't nothing new, bro. Everything he every risk he took was calculated. Every risk he took in this shit was calculated. And Benavidez, he, he might be Benavidez. But it ain't going to be easy. It ain't going to be easy. And people don't really recognize how big of a man Benavidez is. And I, I, don't, I mean, I don't even think opponents really recognize it. Demetrius Andre didn't really recognize it until he got in the ring. And that Canelo was 60 some nine fights. You know what I'm saying? You know, they said he lazy in training and spar partner because he made all the money. He just fighting just to add more icing on his cake. And that's all he's doing. And I ain't mad at it. Because they don't have retirement plans. But he really gonna have to turn turn the eye of the tiger back on. Fighting Keith Thurman. I mean, fighting uh David Benavidez. That's just what it is. And you know, when you try, you it's not a it's not a switch to turn on the eye of the tiger. This ain't Rocky. It ain't no switch. You turn on and turn off, turn on and turn off. Trust me, don't work that way. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.